she smiles at me, Yori. Glad that someone other than me is getting involved in the story too. Yes. However, each mystery has a different way of taking people away. Like what? We're taking only the person's arms left behind or something like that? Don't say scary things like that! Rika's terrified, but Kamikado is all smiles and she says no and wags her finger. It's a place. A place? Yes. Bloody Mary is the only exception. As there's no set place a person's taken from, but... There's a wandering Wendigo who snatched away when you get lost in the woods at the Academy. The shapeshift of a dorm session, the name would imply you carried away from encounter in the dorms. If you go could use a shapeshift in the dorms then. I laugh and Rika frowns. Kamikado does not understand or also frowns. However, reasons for frowning are different. So, I was going to truth relevant to a piece of assumption. What? The reason why I said it has something to do with Kosaka-san is that guns are truth appears only at the feast. It's only under unique circumstances. I feel as though I'm hearing something I shouldn't. My amity partner also appears to feel the same. Such a circumstance will occur when at the feast of student chosen to play Virgin Mary, sings a hymn in a beautiful voice. Say, but only a special student who was not only chosen for all, but is also able to sing beautifully in it, is taken away. A momentary silence. That's... preposterous, says Miyo yourself. However, Mikado shakes her head to say no. You think it being taken away into a presence of a lord as consequence of your excellence. But it is distinct from the other mysteries and it is an honour rather than a disaster. Is it appearing an honour? It's a religious way of thinking. We can repeat the words hesitantly, whereas Miyuri says, Well, maybe it is an honour, but I must politely decline. Oh, if it were me, I'd be dancing with joy. Who is a true Christian believer? Though she's attending a religious school, Miyui is unable to understand the joy of being taken away and responds with a vague smile. Don't worry, if you disappear, we'll find you, just like we do with the Sakis. Suosa. We hear a sound of a door being flung noisily open. Don't worry, I'm going nowhere. That's why the chatter echoes around the cathedral at the dramatic entrance. The figure striding gallantly towards us is... Yuzuriha, you're back. Just now. Looks like her whirlwind has finally arrived. She smiles cynically and makes a different differential bow, like a court gesture. Gesture. Suddenly her voice is flirtatious. Her charisma pours over all over not only the cooking club, but the choir too. In response to a wall of choir members surrounding her, she exaggeratedly pats them on their heads as if they were children. The girls rush to get to her like puppies who have found her owner. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Sorry I caused you all so much to worry. <laughs> Everyone takes turns greeting her. After a finish, she looks at me and Miyori with a troubled expression. Her strides over to Miyori is rooted to a spot in surprise. It seems my actions have caused you hardship. Let me apologise. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's all been cleared up. I heard the details of my hospital bed. Zuokun did all she could for you, didn't she? She was a great amity partner. Yes, she really is. It wasn't just me. Rika-san helped as well. We haven't seen each other in ages and you're already setting me straight? I knew there was a reason I liked you. She was smiling right, like she rubs my hair and she would do a dog. How dutiful you to start with apologies. But haven't you got anything to say to me? A world without any sense of duty would be a dark place. 
Duty is my middle name. I shall appropriately display my gratitude to she who hath done me the favour of winning the count in my absence. Can we kind of laugh at Yashiro in a really serious manner? He says she was just joking. I reckon I'm watching a historical drama. Since I awoke from my slumber, I have gnawed with free time. Which I've failed with watching historical dramas. They have affected my very manner of speech. We can tell. More importantly, going back to what I said before, you really bent over backwards to find a culprit. When Sister Basket came to visit me in the hospital, she explained to me through all kinds of exaggerated gestures. Really? Sister Basket pr probably went into, into the minutest of details of the events she witnessed. The story I heard about before the missing library book was interesting. And this was something else altogether. You ended in the search of corporate for my sake, didn't you, Suokun? I think it was a joke, I had a vague smile in response, but... Hmm? Seems it's a serious question. How should I answer? Truthfully, of course. Any answer I give will cause offence. Feels like, as Yagaki might say, I'm at the centre of a Death Star. I look at Yatsuro, I've been interfacing my amity partners. Yatsuro of course I was worried about you too, Yatsuro-senpai. Hmm? But Miyoi-san was under suspicion and in dire need of help, so... Um... Suo-san? As a result of my attempted answer, uh, attempt to answer inoffensively, Miyoi's delighted, but Yatsuro makes an unusually bitter face. <laughs> How boring. Oh, I would like that face. I said, how boring. So that's how things are between us. Yet she has steel coloured eyes, both misty, and she looks down at the ground like a little girl. Um, uh, well. Being terrible, I take a step towards her, trying to think about what to say, then. I got you, didn't I? Before I can pull back, she wraps her arms around me, her face right before my eyes. Ah! There you go. This is my proof of my love for you. What are you doing? Miyu wishes over, yet she releases me and hides behind Kamikado as a shield. You took me by surprise. I still feel a sensation of her arms around me, my body switch. Still in shock, it remains rigid. Well, she's the same as ever. She looks both weary and amused at the same time. I smile at Rika and voice my agreement as we watch the two chase each other around. Everything's back to how it was. It may be rude, but I can't help but laugh a bit as I watch Kamikado being used as a shield. I should feel that things at the Academy are back to how they should be. A classmate calls out to wish me good luck for tomorrow. Hi. Hi. I should do my best with all my might. She looks very, very attractive with that towel, you know that? To be fair, she just looks very attractive, doesn't she? <laughs> You're starting to sound like Yashiro Senpai. <laughs> See me get excited because my classmate spoke to me for the first time. We can stop washing herself, covering her mouth and laughs. This is the first time one of a classmate has spoken to me. You sound like you've got social anxiety disorder. Um, she kind of does. Stops washing herself and seems to think about something then. Speaking of which, sura I almost never see you talking to anyone besides us. You're right. But what can you do? sura is such a sophisticated beauty. It makes it hard to approach. For some reason, they don't seem to think I'm shy. My first time being encouraged by another classmate automatically responded by saying I'll do my best, but... I don't know what you said. You're so motivated. I'm impressed. 
if it were me, I'd be so nervous. Nervous. Ah, don't be stupid, Ringo. She's been playing piano forever. She's used to recitals. I see. It's rude to even suggest that her son would get nervous in front of an audience of students. Right, right. Well, we get ahead in first. He watches the Sasaki's patter over a bathtub. I feel an unexpected tugging in my heart. Um, what's the matter? Uh, your stomach hurt? Do you need any help? N no, I was just thinking about tomorrow and my chest suddenly got tight. It's like a wound that doesn't bother you until you notice it. It suddenly starts hurting. I don't think about it too much. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. You did so well at practice today, what? Suicide had some issues with piano. It's not that simple. Ah. The shadow of my stepmother flips through my mind. If I keep being this nervous, I won't be able to concentrate. When I think of her. When I stop the shower, I feel a wet hand on my shoulder. We know why you're struggling with Sir Sam. Do you have a hard time up there? We'll be here for you. Yes. I was the one who encouraged you to do it, Sir Sam. So I'll take care of you. My amity partner thumps on her chest. But I can't even nod. Based on experience, I know how deeply rooted my issues like the piano are. Suo san. I look down, unable to say anything. Even if I tried, then. with a mutter of. I know. Regan suddenly stands up and thumps the chest again. You fall well tomorrow. I too will attempt to overcome something. Overcome something? What are you gonna do? It's not fair, it's just to keep pushing it to That's why I'm gonna strive as hard as suicide for me. I'm not sure about your reasoning there. When Miyuri gives a wise smile, my heart grows lighter and his encouragement. Thank you. I'll do my best. For some reason, Miyuri makes a questioning noise and scratches her cheek. I mean, it's nice that you feel encouraged and all, but. What is it that Rika's going to overcome? Rika squirms under her brown eyed gaze. Well, I'll, I'll learn how to ride. What? I, I didn't catch that. I learned how to ride a bicycle! <laughs> Sorry. She announced like a leader declaring the freedom of her people. I'm sure how to react to what stands to take. Mew and I just sit there blinking. Really, be? Does it mean that here at the Lady School, being able to ride a bicycle is it a special skill? No, but... We all look confused and I'm trying to choose my words. I see. So you're going to learn how to ride a bicycle? No, wait, you got to ride a bicycle? You've got to be kidding me. The Sasakis, who are now out of bathtub, have ever heard and now turn my mysterious eyes this way. Uh, you're the last person I wanted to hear about this. You really can't ride a bike? I thought everyone could ride once I got past the first grade. Exactly. My intuition was right. No way. Where I'm from, most people can't. Huh? Both points of view are based on the local customs where they grew up. Neither of them can be called a liar. Rika looks at you up and down, and spreads her arms out in a disbelieving gesture. You said everyone is older than first grade ride a bike, but you two don't look like you're able to. Can't really believe it. Can't believe it? Not only can I ride a bicycle, but I can ride a unicycle as well. A unicycle, huh? You use that in this competition? It's like joining a baseball team and saying you can play catch. Sorry, I'm not up to speed with things, but what's the unicycle have to do with any competition? I don't know, I'll whisper in response to me always question. Ichigo coughs in the direction of Ringo, who's been watching silently as two on fight, urging his sister to say something. I can ride a stick pony. I've been beat. What? What? 
Thank you. 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 Thank As I watch all this, I feel confidence building within me. But I don't even understand myself. Feeling that things will all work out. But in the end, this confidence will have to wait until next time. Bye bye.